Yeah, doing a great job for those firemen. In the credit where credit's due, we began the show talking about all the young drivers in both the alcohol drags and alcohol funny car class. Well, you have Payne, Bateman, Gasparelli advancing into the semifinals already, and now Doug Gordon or Clint Thompson. So the, the veteran drivers are having yeah. their way here today. Well, when we leave Topeka, we are headed to the next Locust Oil Series race, the United Association Route 66 Nationals. We're going to Joliet. And even better than just the Lucas Oil coverage, we've got the Jets All-Stars, part of that. A great weekend coming up. Clint Thompson was in Norwalk, Ohio last week. He's here this week on the Mission Raceway in British Columbia next week. I mean, you, you think we got a lot of uh, miles to go. For more on our next stop, your stat guy. Doug Gordon, I spoke to him in the lanes on Friday. He said his biggest win of his career was back in 2008 at the Jags All-Stars over Frank Manzo. The one and only. He said that was his defining moment of his career so far. Always big wins when you beat Frank Manzo. Yep. Fourth meeting, fifth meeting between the two. And Lynn Thompson's got the advantage so far. We've seen some good runs, low 570s, high 560s. I think the winner of this one's going to have low ET of the round. That's how strong these two cards have been. Big move for Clint Thompson. Can he hold it to the finish? Yes, he can. 566. Bob Fry is amazing. 252 miles an hour. Remember, folks, I'm a trained professional. Do not try this at home. Nice run right there. So the Gordon family started the weekend out of the number one spot. That has not been a great uh, position here at this racetrack. Nice little wheels up charger. That is a nice controlled spin off the starting line. You need that wheel spin for these race cars. You can't afford to bog the motor off the starting line. But then Clint Thompson goes 566. You can see him sailing right on by and right on into the semifinals. That was a pretty good run. Clint Thompson doing a great job. Got rid of Kirk Williams in the first round with low elapsed time of the first set round. Now he's got it here in round number two and will pick his lane coming up against Steve Gasparelli in one half of the Funny Car semifinals. On the other half, it will be Jay Payne with that 572 picking his over Roger Bateman.